Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Jiruli. Um, I'm actually showing you today how to simulate um, a natural uh, pipeline in uh, its fluent environment which is uh, carrying natural gas in a very high pressure. Okay, So this is the problem. Uh, and the problem statement is, for instance, you are a pipeline engineer and you are actually working in a pipeline project and you have a huge long pipeline and from there you you will actually cut up I mean choose a control volume of the pipeline just like this for instance this one okay so this is a very long pipeline for instance it's like a 1000 kilometer or something okay so you'll just select a section of it for instance uh, 8 meter of the section okay and the pipeline diameter is uh, is um, 0.3 meter okay and the operating pressure is uh, 500 psi or uh, 3.5 million pascal okay and if the pipeline transport natural gas this high pressure natural gas okay so um, uh, and uh, temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the material of the pipeline is uh, is a uh, steel carbon steel it's written stainless steel but it should be carbon steel anyways so assume your flow is turbulent and you are using Cape Cylon turbulence model and also assume your pipeline is a stationary wall and there is a no slip condition at the boundary of the wall of the pipeline so based on all this information, okay, we'll actually develop a CFD model using ANSYS Fluent and our objective is to develop a vector profile and develop a velocity contour, okay, to identify the maximum velocity of the gas flow and uh, our principal objective is to draw a velocity profile so we will draw a velocity profile at the exit of the pipeline okay and we'll discuss our result how what is the shape of the profile and how the shape of the profile looks like that okay and what is the maximum uh, velocity we can have so uh, this is the problem statement and uh, as you can see like this is the an illustration of the pipeline so we'll just select 8 meter length from this pipeline okay so the whole operating pressure is 3.5 megapascal or 500 psi we'll just select a small segment so let's start it so here is a workbench um, dance is fluent just double click in here and the first step is to create a geometry and we know the dimension the dimension is 8 meter length and 0.3 meter diameter of the pipeline okay later we'll do the meshing selecting the control volume of course and then we'll set up solution and then we'll actually get the results okay so the first stage is to draw the geometry and if you already have the geometry you can actually import it from uh, from like SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD but I'll just use the default space claim okay so the first step we'll go to the options file then option and now we'll go to the unit change it to meter click OK now all the dimensions are in meter so let's zoom a little bit and I'll go to the design, click the cylinder because pipeline is a cylindrical shape and the length of the pipeline will be 8 meter. Okay, so let's just use the 8 meter and the diameter of the pipeline is 0.3 meter and just select the 8 meter and meter of the pipeline all right we are done 
Uh, after that, we'll go to the machine. Just double click in here. And the machine system will open. Here it is. Alright. So it just takes some time to import it. So we can do a lot of uh, stuff with the meshing, but uh, the simplicity will just use the default meshing system. Okay. But the near wall will do some inflation. So the geometry will select here, whole geometry. The boundary is the wall. So the purpose of doing the inflation is at the near wall system, okay, near the wall, you can see here, we did a, a little bit refined meshing in the near wall. It's called the near wall treatment because most of the hydrodynamics properties will be at the near wall, okay, so that's why you find we did the inflation and we had five boundary layers and the growth rate is 1.2 if you want more um, refined then you can actually change the layer uh, like 10 layers or uh, like reduce the growth rate but I will just uh, in default now our next objective is to name it okay so this is the pipeline we assume this is the inlet of the pipeline this is the outlet and this is the wall okay so Create the name selection wall inlet would be this side. So here click the face or control F select right one create the name selection inlet. Okay and here This side, create a new selection, outlet, fine. Now we'll just update our machine here from the workbench and it's done. Now we'll go for the setting. Now uh, we'll not change any options in here. We're not doing any parallel processing or double precision since our uh, model would be a steady state simulation okay so we don't need any complicated ones in here okay so the first thing we'll do in here is to scale the mesh so we'll just scale it to meter and we'll just check if the machine is done it's good the quality is not great Okay, as you can see the aspect ratio is higher, but um, we'll just use it anyway. Okay. If you want to make better quality, you can just uh, um, increase the mesh quality even better. Okay. Now our solver is pressure-based solver. It's a steady-state simulation. Now, one of the important thing is if you go to the problem, then you can see like the pipeline is horizontal. Okay, just like this one in here. Okay, so since the pipeline is rising to, to the ground, so this G is affecting right at the bottom. So um, the Y, okay, so it's the rising to pipeline. Okay, so the Y is at the upper side, so the G will work at the opposite direction. 9.8. Now let's select the model. Uh, since we have a temperature and our problem is at 20 degrees Celsius, so we'll just turn on the energy equation on. And another um, she needs our pressure. Okay, it's the pressure-based uh, solver, and we have a turbulence model, KF silent turbulence model. So we'll just use viscous laminar and KF silent turbulence model. Here it is, KF silent, and we're not changing any of the parameter the model constants would be uh, thing and if you want then you can actually use the realizable capsule model and scalable wall functions but I'm not changing anything okay for the 
case of simplicity let's click OK and we are not using any multi-phase for instance uh, air and natural gas mixture or we are not actually creating our own species or any reaction is not happening inside the pipeline so we will not use any of these models or there is no combustion or radiation is happening okay so our model uh, selection of the model part is done now the most important part is the materials so when you select the materials you can see by default it's air from the fluent database we'll select methane so let's select m mercury methane all right so after selecting that click copy close so methane is selected now you can see we cannot delete the air yet okay we cannot delete it because in the cell zone condition if you double click it and click fluid it's still air okay so in the cell zone condition double click in here and when this uh, popped up select the material name from air to methane and click ok and now you will see you can delete the air okay this one thing cell zone condition the second thing is we have aluminium but we have to change it to steel okay so we'll go to the fluent database again material type from fluid to solid we have steel okay we'll just copy again and close now you can see we cannot actually delete the aluminium also i will show you how to how to select the steel okay uh, that's we'll do at the boundary condition so we'll just double click this boundary condition right now and there you can see the boundary conditions inlet outlet wall everything is in here so at first we'll go to the wall double click at the wall okay when you double click at the wall you will see all the options in here go to the thermal change the material name to steel from aluminium okay and click okay now you can delete the aluminium because we have selected the steel okay now let's go back to the boundary condition again this is the most important part so our uh, model is done our material is done cell zone condition is done now the boundary conditions double click at the boundary conditions again here now when you have this boundary conditions click this inlet and you can see here when you click at the inlet the default is velocity inlet now look at our problem our problem it says the operating pressure is 500 psi that means here at the inlet the pressure is 3.5 megapascal or 500 psi and here at the outlet also the pressure is same okay so that means we'll select here at our inlet would be pressure inlet not the velocity inlet okay and when you select the pressure inlet you have this um, screen will pop up now the gauge total pressure the gauge total pressure is a pressure like the total pressure of uh, if, you, if you remember the Bernoulli's law the Bernoulli's law is what uh, let's let's show you So the Bernoulli's equation, if you see the Bernoulli's equation here, for instance. So we have uh, um, the principle. Try to find the Bernoulli's differential equation. Anyways. Uh, Let's go to here, for instance, and you will find 
The first term is the pressure energy, second term is the kinetic energy, and third term is the potential energy, okay? So the summation of pressure energy and kinetic energy, we also can tell this thing, I mean, this, this summation is the total gauge pressure, okay? And this one, this potential energy in here, this is the initial gas pressure. Now, in our problem, it says that the, the pipeline is situated at the ground level. That means the potential, okay, so the potential energy, like, I mean, we can neglect, it, it can be negligible, so it will be zero. So the total pressure would be the kinetic pressure plus the pressure energy, and that is 500 psi or it's a uh, 3.5 MPA, okay? So, make sure 35, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? And at the thermal, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius means uh, 20 plus 273 is 293 Kelvin. So, we'll just change it to 293 Kelvin, okay? So our inlet is defined, okay, just click okay, uh, this is the function. Outlet, now the outlet would be by default pressure outlet, okay. So now here is the thing, if, if our problem said like uh, this segment, okay, so this is the inlet, if this segment will go to the atmosphere for instance the it's an open okay and it goes to the atmosphere only then you can actually say like the gauge pressure is zero okay because it will release to the atmosphere but it's not it's inside the system and we can assume like the pressure difference from this point one i mean this inlet and at the eight meter for the gas is very, very low. That means we can assume like it is actually that it's the same pressure we have, 3.5 megapascal. Or it could be less like, I mean, we can assume like 349,000 pascal. It's the same, like I just assume uh, for this eight meter, only point, uh, point 0.1 megapascal, I mean, it's uh, uh, pressure and changed, okay? So, this would be 8 for the gas pressure and the thermal would be 293, okay? All right, and backflow, there's no backflow, pressure specification. We'll just put everything uh, by default, okay? And our wall is already specified, okay? So we'll just click OK. Now all of our specifications are done inlet, internal, outlet, and wall. Again, the inlet pressure is 3.5 MPA or 500 psi. And the outlet pressure would be the same, 500 psi or 3.5 MPa. But I mean, as we know, the flow actually flows from high pressure to lower pressure. So just to make sure, we just reduced pressure in here a little bit. But if you actually simulate the problem with 3.5 MPa, okay, it, you'll get the same result actually. Now, our boundary conditions are done. We'll go to the reference values and we'll compute the reference values from inlet. So this is the initial conditions we'll see. And we'll go to the solution method now. Uh, we'll not change anything at the reference frame. We're not doing any, uh, any customization or name expression. So our error solution method, uh, the solution scheme is coupled. Uh, we can use couple or we can use simple. Simple will actually give us like the easier um, or easier uh, solution. Um, 
I would urge like, I mean, if you use the steady state simulation, simple is okay, but if you use the um, transient simulation, then coupled or PISO uh, solving uh, solution method would be better, okay? And all the discretization would like, I would suggest to take it like a second order upwind, but um, in case of simplicity, I'm just putting like the first order upwind, but I'll highly recommend to use the second order upwind, okay? Now go to the control, use the same, under relaxation factors are same. Monitors will not monitor anything right now. Cell register, no. Now the next step is the initialization. Okay, we'll do the hybrid initialization and click the initialize. So you can see here our initialization part is doing and hybrid initialization is done. All right, now let's go to the calculation activities. We'll not do anything in here. Run calculation. Okay, now this is the stage we'll run our problem so everything is defined we have uh, defined our model defined the materials our boundary condition is done how we'll actually solve the problem so our solution method is also done okay now we'll just run our calculation but before that we we'll just make sure everything is in order so we'll just click the check case and you can see there is a recommendation like to consider keep realizable Cape Cylon model instead of the standard Cape Cylon model. We can just ignore that right now, okay? So ANSYS actually gave us the recommendation because if you actually use this one, it is better. And also the solver to improve the um, discretization, um, uh, the uh, different types of uh, solution method, but I'll just use that solution method, okay? To uh, make it more simple. Now at the number of iteration, I just select like 100 iteration, okay, like uh, if you choose 1000 iteration, that's better, but uh, for steady state simulation, 100 is fine, I guess, okay, so now let's calculate, okay, so I assume it will solve uh, pretty quickly because uh, we are just using a steady state simulation. Okay, so uh, maximum, like I think, within 100 iteration, uh, I'm confident that the solution will be done. Okay, so the black line, this means like the continuity equation is solving. Okay, so the continuity equation means the mass in, mass out, and the accumulation relationship. Okay, that means like the accumulation equal to mass in minus mass out or input equal to output okay so that is the um, continuity equation and velocity xyz that means it's solving the momentum equation and the momentum equation means sum of all force okay is equal to zero that means the total force is equal to zero okay so that is the um, um, momentum equation so it derived from Newton's law and this is the energy equation solving and we know at the energy equation uh, the law of thermodynamics okay which says the energy cannot be created or destroyed it's just change from one to another so basically everything actually solving here uh, is like the um, continuity equation is the mass balance momentum equation is the balance of the forces and energy equation is the thermodynamic properties uh, equation so all these three equations solve in cfd and that is actually governed by the neighbor stokes equation okay so now we uh, our solution is complete we'll see the results so in order to see the results you can see the results from here okay so you can just uh, click at the results here graphic. Uh, let's see the Victor profile from here. Compute, display. You can see the Victor profile in here. But to view better, uh, we'll actually go to the assist results of like the post solver. Okay, so we'll just double click in here. That will also give us a better uh, control over 
the post processing of the of the answers. Okay, so here is the answer is post processing. Now this is the inlet, this is the outlet. The first thing we will do insert vector. Okay. So we'll actually uh, develop a vector profile. Uh, location would be the if it is solid. Okay. Apply and we can see the vector profile in here. You can see the maximum velocity would be something like uh, 294 meter per second, which is very high, of course, because uh, it's a natural gas is flowing in a very high pressure zone. So this is the vector profile. Now, um, if you want to check it, it will become, if you check it back again, it will be coming in. Now, we'll actually draw a plane. Okay, and we'll see like how the velocity actually changed. How we'll do that? We'll go to the insert location plane plane one okay and this is the plane would be the xy line okay so apply we we'll just select this plane okay now at this plane we'll actually draw draw the velocity contour how we'll do that we'll go to the insert again click this contour contour one domain would be all domain Location would be this plane one. We just created plane one, right? Next one. Variable pressure will use the velocity range global. We'll just select the local. And let's see. Here is the velocity profile. Okay. And if you actually see select the global, you can select the same, but just your uh, range would be different. But other everything else would be the same. Values and everything would be the same. So this is the velocity, okay? So as you can see, uh, the velocity in here is showing, okay? So let's analyze. So near the wall, the velocity is low, and in the middle, the velocity is high. It perfectly depicts the, the uh, fluid mechanics properties of the gas. Okay, uh, now let's draw the velocity profile so that we can actually uh, learn it better. So how can we do that? Um, we'll draw the velocity profile at the outlet. So this is the outlet. So if you just click X, so we'll get this outlet. Now uh, we'll go to the insert again, location, and we'll create a line. Okay, so insert location and line. So click at the line, line one two points so here is the point one and here will be the point two okay so the point one I'll just see this one so the point one would be eight meter the total length of the pipeline and this is the middle zero okay and upper side would be 0.15 meter because our pipeline radius is 0.15 meter or like the diameter we have selected 0.3 meter okay and z would be zero Point 0.2 would be this one, if you click nearly here, it would be, point 0.2 would be, oh, sorry, okay, just point 0.5, zero. Point 0.2 would be, same, 8 meter, minus point 0.15, and 0, why minus, if this is positive, this is 0, this would be negative, okay. And we'll just click apply, and we've seen this nice line we have now. Okay, um, let me show you. If we take out this plane and contour, you can see this line over here. Okay, so now what we'll do since we have this line, so we'll draw the velocity profile along this line. How we'll go to the insert. We'll click on this chart, okay, chart title, velocity profile, okay, this would be an XY line, data series, data series, the location would be line one, okay, and the X axis, it would be, so, it would be, Y direction.
position and at the y axis we will select the velocity okay now if we click the apply and we can see this velocity profile now if you actually change it like i mean um for the x axis you want the, the velocity and at the y axis we want to select like y this makes more sense actually so you see the velocity profile looks like that now if you want to export this file you can go to the file export export external data file okay so external data just one second export sorry just click the export okay the type is generic location line one okay now what are the variables the variables we actually want to export is the velocity and y okay so just click the control and select the velocity and the y and this is the file location it's going to save i'm just uh See. Uh, let's uh, save it you know what I will just save this file in my desktop somewhere so that I can find it easily okay so um, I'll like I'll save it the my document okay like um, profile one now remember one thing this is a csv file so csv file means it's a comma separated value that means it's a data file this is not an excel file but you can actually uh, convert it to excel okay so we'll just save this file and now let's go and see like uh, just go to the file explorer uh, document you see this velocity profile it is in here so we have this velocity and y now if we select this insert and scatter like draw and for instance we'll just um, we'll just draw the velocity profile okay no, no, sorry here insert chart here you see we got our velocity profile in here and that's how now when you actually save it okay save as always remember to save as excel file okay excel format uh, excel workbook format not csv because if you save it csv your um, your um, acronym will be gone because that would be saved as just a raw data file okay so now you can see here we have a velocity profile the excel file and this is the nice velocity profile we have now the interesting part is like this velocity profile is really flat okay why it is flat because number one it is a um, turbulent simulation model and the uh, characteristics of turbulent model is we always have a flat profile if we have a laminar flow then the usually like the laminar profiles are more sharper and the maximum velocity we got nearly like i mean 290 ish meter 290 meter per second which also explains like um like the fluid is in very very high pressure okay so the uh, velocity is uh that high so um, now our final task is just to save the file okay so um, I'll just save it this is my document also or like a, I'll just uh, say this file name as a, I'll just open up new folder for it
मेथेन स्टेरी स्टेट एट मीटर ओके आई विल जस्ट यूज दिस नेम नाउ दिस फाइल विल सेव एस अ वर्कबेंच फाइल ओके now why i'm showing you this thing this is very important because when you actually save the file always make sure this is the thing you have this two folder this is the backup folder just in this case but these are like the, this is the file and this is the folder okay so if you actually want to send this simulation file to anyone make sure you zip both of the files and send okay so if you just send this file not the associated folder then the file will not work at all okay because all the um, um, all the system files are in here okay all the systems files are like the like the dp0 you'll find all these system files the design files and everything is in here okay so that's exactly why um, all the simulation and boundary condition information setup everything is in this folder so if you just send the file to someone it will not work so um, this is the chart viewer you can go and check the 3d viewer again so uh, this is how uh, now we'll go back to our problem and you can find like okay so most of the things has been covered up in here now we know how to develop a velocity profile of a natural gas flow i mean high pressure gas flow using ansys and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section okay uh, all right have a good day everyone and stay well goodbye